Hello and welcome to the fantastic forum virtual today. Really, really happy to be here and speaking with uh, MSPs. JP Kiho is my name. I'm the VP of XDR Sales with Barracuda MSP. But today we're here at the fantastic forum virtual. What a great format, what a great forum uh, to share some information and share some knowledge. Um, so yeah, let's let's just jump in. What we're going to go through today is just a little bit around, you know, where we see the problems today for uh, not just for MSPs, but for their customers. And the market is moving. You know, our partners are evolving. The market is moving and it's moving at such a quick pace. We all know cybersecurity threats have been on the rise for many years now, and that's led to an increase in cyber services uh, for all businesses of all sizes. And um, regardless of your size of business, you're, you're, you're impacted. Our, our customers today are diversifying. So whether you're starting out, your break fix organization, or you're a mature uh, managed service provider, your your portfolio is changing. You're leading with cybersecurity, becoming more cyber centric. So on top of selling IT as a service, MSPs now need to lead with cyber and sell cybersecurity as a service. So that's happening now. Um, the the difficulty is right now. It seems like there's four major roadblocks for all MSPs today in making that shift. Just four, right? Four major roadblocks. The one is often spoken about, it's the lack of talent. Um, nearly 4 million, 3.5, right? Near 3.5 open cyber positions today. The shortage of talent is a well-known issue. And there's lots of statistics that demonstrate that. But one of the main challenges for providing and selling cyber services is that shortage of talent, right? So for for many of our customers today who struggle to find and retain cyber expertise, that can really limit your, your ability uh, to provide high quality services that, that are needed today. So that's roadblock number one. It's a, it's a real challenge. Number two is really falling into two buckets here. One is the ability to understand cyber risk and then the ability to communicate cyber risk. Cyber risk is, is seen as highly technical, complex subject. You know, we talked about the lack of talent, uh, but that's needed to understand um, the technical knowledge, understand the requirements around cybersecurity today. Communicating those cyber risks in a way that's easily understood by non-technical stakeholders can be a, a real challenge. And they are two parts of the roadblock number two, understanding and communicating cyber risk. So you need to find a way to make it easy to understand and then easy to communicate. Lots of partners have uh, really, really clever ways of doing that. Finding a, a partner, a vendor that helps you not only understand, but communicate cyber risk to your customers. Number three is managing that cyber complexity that's out there. You know, at its core, there's, you know, rapidly changing technology at a tremendous pace. Um, there's a complexity to the infrastructure now that's changed. COVID has accelerated cloud adoption, for example. So it can be really difficult to manage that complexity with, within your, your organization. Obviously, integration issues. Many cybersecurity solutions need you to integrate with other systems. Um, this can be a complex process on top of things like compliance requirements um, and then obviously the risk of human error, all of these things together um, are, are a challenge for MSPs, they're managing that complexity, managing all the vendors. So what we're seeing in the space as well, uh, MSPs are beginning to consolidate, beginning to pick partners that might make sense for their business, to consolidate some of the requirements, make it more easier, that one pane of glass, that one partner that will help them on their journey. Maybe something to think about in your own organization. You know, where, where can you uh, save cost, time, money by consolidating into one, one vendor today? I think the fourth, it's actually probably number one. It's one of the biggest challenges. Uh, the folks at the Fantastic Forum Virtual 
uh, know this very, very well. It's figuring out how to sell, how to sell and package cyber. That's a big challenge. So forgetting about the technology piece, how do you uh, integrate into your own managed service? How do you look at the different levels of service when it comes to cybersecurity? How do you price that? How do you package it? And uh, like we talked about, communicate it with, with, with your customers. Um, I'm going to sort of move up a gear here a little bit and touch on one of the things that might help solve some of these problems today. Um, I'm going to take a liberty and mention one of them, that uh, one direction we, we certainly take, and we find a lot of our MSP partners uh, look at basic cyber hygiene for business. This is a really good way when you think about understanding and communicating cyber risk and helping you sell. A lot of our MSP partners use this as a real takeaway for their um, uh, their customers. So let me walk you through it as if we had a, a customer in the room. So number one, you've got to know what you want to protect. Where is your critical information? Your billing systems, your financial systems. Um, you know, for, for an MSP, there's real value in looking at your own uh, internal information. You guys have the keys of the kingdom. Like, where is that? Where is that critical information? And how are you protecting that today? What are the not just the technology, but with the technology that secures those assets? Then the process, the training of staff. You might have uh, lots of different controls. Some people call these the concentric rings of security or defense in depth, the cyber kill chain. Though. Those one and two together is very, very important. And that's what MSPs do today for the customer, securing those assets. Um, the difficulty is, despite all of the investment here, the average length of time from when something happens in the customer's environment, when you know about it, is almost 200 days, 197 days. So you need to monitor your environment to reduce that response time. That's a key aspect of what good looks like today. And then obviously pick a framework that makes sense for you and your business. So as you look through these five steps, it's a really good way to communicate what good looks like to your customers. It talks about what you're doing today and securing their assets. And then touching on um, three and four, which is that visibility and monitoring. Obviously, those on the call would know a lot more about SOC and SIEM and XDR services. But having, having this as a... Uh, bedrock, having this um, uh, type of conversation with the customers really sets them up for, for success and gives a nice roadmap for their investment into your um, uh, business going forward. Another illustration uh, of this, and I'll just step through it now, is seeing an attack in, in, in action, right? So as, as we, uh, we look at a, an actual execution of an attack and maybe with that basic cyber hygiene in mind, you might think about protecting your email and you've done all of these things to help protect your email, built concentric rings of securing those assets. The same with cloud and laptop and firewall. And that's really, really important. And, um, you know, most of, of our uh, organizations are set up this way and you might, you know, do more things and have more configuration two factor and training staff like we talked about and that's really really important but it does create silos not just in the product uh, side of things but even the people right so you might have different people looking at different pain planes of glass and different dashboards for for or even the people outside the organization it does create silos not just in products but in the teams so when something happens so a laptop gets affected Right, someone clicks on a link or something gets um, turned off, it can propagate across all of the different services, laptops, firewalls, cloud, you have a problem and it spreads quickly. And you have multiple people in multiple locations with multiple different as accesses to manage that problem. The, that that uh, is an issue during an incident. And you'll hear more about XDR, extending the visibility so you can detect incidents and then respond quickly. And that ultimately brings it all together. That's the idea of XDR. Bringing all of your telemetry into one place, making sure that you not only have visibility when something happens, 
So for this case, let's say it's the, the endpoint or the laptop, but you can swarm very quickly on that particular issue earlier than you would uh, in normal circumstances and then remediate much quicker. I've seen this graphic uh, only recently and it I feel like it really tells a story. Um, it's a helpful way for you also to think about it, but then to communicate it to your customers. This is what good looks like. You need to have it all together, have that basic cyber hygiene in place. And um, and that's ultimately what the um, uh, our security sh solution should be, right? There should be complete complete protection across your network and your web applications and, um, and accessible, easy deploy. Um, at Barracuda, we do a lot of this, obviously, and uh, we can uh, we can help you in many ways. But I'd like to leave you with that really distinct notion that you there's only one uh, uh, that distinct notion that there is one page that gives you the roadmap for any business. So basic cyber hygiene for businesses, for all businesses today. Establish what you want to protect. What are you doing to secure those assets, Mr. Customer? And that's not just good enough today, right? On top of the security of your, your assets, it's like your home. You're going to protect your home. You lock your doors and windows. That's what one and two is like. It stops an opportunistic burglar. But you need to have the house alarm. You need to monitor your environment so that when something happens, that Control gets breached, like the door breaks open, the firewall gets compromised. Somebody logs on to your Office 365 from a suspicious location. You have to know so you can reduce that response time and then pick a framework that makes sense for your business. So I really want to thank you for taking some time out of your day. The fantastic form virtual is it was great to see uh, it in action. I hope it's uh, been a uh, an enjoyable experience for everyone that has joined and um, love to see it happening again and, and anywhere we, we can help. As I said, at Barracuda, we uh, would love to help um, with lots of areas that we just went through in terms of securing our assets. Barracuda can help in that respect. But then obviously that visibility, that XDR solution, extending the visibility, help bolting on a sock to your business. That's what we do at Barracuda as well. Um, so that we can we can help you uh, protect your customers. So thank you very much. Have a great day.